It has come to a time where you need to decide which is more important, serving God or appealing to intellectuals in the scientific community. Because honestly, you can't do both. If you are a Christian, it is imperative that you learn to discern evil. Remember, we are not wrestling against flesh, but spiritual wickedness. And that wickedness is not always going to play out in the form of some big devil tormenting people, but rather it will come in the form of corrupt institutions, organizations, and secret societies who deceive the world through conspiracies. So, if you are a Christian who happens to be a proponent of evolution, or the existence of aliens, or whatever intellectual thing that you approve of, you have to ask yourself, is this theory I'm advocating for contributing to the kingdom of darkness, which is based upon lies and manipulation, or does this thing contribute to the kingdom of light, which is based in truth? And then, that's when you refer to the Bible, and if that thing isn't in there, then that means it should be regarded as a lie, and therefore a potential device of Satan and his angels. So, for example, what about evolution? Not in there. Other planets that can be inhabited, as well as galaxies and aliens and millions and billions of years. Not in the Bible. But you know what is mentioned in the Bible? Demonic spirits. Could that be your aliens? It's that simple. And that's why a Christian who doesn't believe in evil or sin isn't really a Christian at all. Because if you don't literally believe in sin, then how could you believe that Jesus died for them? And so I'll end this by saying, a Christian who is blind to evil is like a dog with no fangs. Y'all have a good day and stay blessed.